Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of our Unreal Engine tutorial. This time we're going to go into Mega Scans, and hopefully we won't have the same issue we had last time. Um, before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to Archangel, Todd M, and Leslie Media. Thank you so much for your support. If you want to support this channel, click on that Join button below. Get access to my live stream archives and shout outs and videos like this. And of course, you'll be supporting uh, more, more tutorial videos. Uh, so let's jump into the uh, project itself. We've already created an it's sort of an enemy. We haven't given it AI yet, but we've created an enemy that we can shoot and um, take away health from and eventually destroy. And uh, now we want to start editing our environment. So we're going to go to create up here. Um, and that's going to let us change or drag in any kind of special items and actors such as lights, um, 3D objects, things like that. So more cubes if we'd like to. Content is where we can access Quixel Bridge. And this is where our Megascans assets are located. So let's go ahead and click on that. You will need to log in even if you're logged into Epic. Sometimes it'll make you log in. Um, yep, it made me log in again. All right, so now I'm logged in. And uh, let's go ahead and navigate to, uh, let's go to a rural environment. And uh, you can see that we have a few assets here. So let's find an asset that we want to download. Let's try this cobblestone texture. Let's click on that. And we're going to click on download. Now this is going to download it to the cache directory but it's not going to download it to your asset folder. So once it finishes downloading, you still need to click on add and that will add it to your assets folder. So let's try this out and see if this one worked and then we'll drag an actual asset into the, into the engine. So we'll go to mega scans. Oh, it's stonewall. Okay. It does look like it loaded. So let's drag this in. We can see it replaced and it's compiling the shaders. And now we have this horribly sized stone wall asset. So we don't actually want it on this. So let's control Z that. Let's undo that real quick and instead place this on an object. Still doesn't look too great. So let's try, uh, scaling the object. So this is actually a good way to, to teach about um, material scaling as well. Where is tiling? Tiling, right up top of course. All right, so we're going to set that to five and five and see how that looks. That looks a little bit more tiled. So now it's a little bit more of a realistic size and shape. Um, and you can adjust that as needed, of course. So if I change this to like eight, I'll get even smaller. And you can see that reflect live in the editor. So you can adjust tiling on objects however you'd like to make them work for your project. Now for the really fun part. We're going to actually drag in a Mega Scans asset from Bridge. So let's go to 3D Assets. And let's find, let's actually go back. Rural. Actually, this one looks okay. Why don't we drag this in? So um, let's click on this, click on Download. And we'll click on add. If we go to our mega scans and 3D assets folder, we'll be able to see that the Japanese Stonewall corner is here now. So let's drag that into our scene. And you can see that our corner is now in the scene. And this one obviously looks a lot better than that one, right? Uh, we can also adjust the size. 
So in our inspector, if we click on the object, we can go to scale and set this to, for example, 222 and create a much larger wall that we can work with in our scene. This can give us a bit of cover and things like that. You can adjust this in your scene by using these different tools here. So we have our translate object tool, which moves it around the scene. We have our rotate tool, which obviously rotates the object. We'll see this one doesn't have an interior, so you'd have to use another asset around it. Um, and our scale tool, where we can actually scale objects um, using freehand instead of this uh, direct input here. So yeah, that's how you import objects and materials from Quixel Megascans into your scene. If there's anything you'd like me to create or show you how to do in the next tutorial video, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching. Hope you stick around. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers? And you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99. And that's a great price.